AC Cash. This is Jay the Technician. And this is JD Boom. And we're coming to you on behalf of Pivot Point Investors, where we help the everyday investor invest in real estate and stock market to achieve financial security. Hi, I'm AC Cash, and this is JD Boom. And we're coming to you today on behalf of Pivot Point Investors where we help the everyday investor increase his money, his or her money, through stock investment and real estate investment. Today, it's the end of the year. We're coming to you to let you know, happy tidings. That's right. Good new year. That's right. Pop those bottles and stay safe. Absolutely. Today, the great debate continues. <laughs> we're talking money, we're talking finance, we're talking Absolutely. about investment, we're talking about ways to grow your money. And so, we keep getting emails, hey Cash, how you guys do it? Yo, uh, JD, what you doing? How you picking those stocks? What's, what's the analysis behind it? Mr. Technician, what are you doing, man, to figure out how you get these stellar returns? And so we said, okay, let's push pause. Let's get it straight. Get a little information, let you peek behind the curtain, and we'll tell you some of the ways we analyze a stock to get an understanding of all the fundamentals of it. You know, it's all about fundamentals. We can't, right. you know, you, you can jump on a bicycle and then just start pedaling, but you gotta know how to balance. You gotta know how to stabilize yourself. And we're gonna let you see how we jump on a tricycle, turn it into a 10 speed before we get on that hobby. And Ooh. so let's look at one stock. We, you know, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about real estate. JD Boom, if you can, just break down a little bit how we analyze a typical stock. Thank you, Cash. Mm -hmm. Glad to be here with you. Happy New Year and all that good stuff to everybody from Pivot Point Investors. So I'm JD Boom. We're going over this stock. This is just one of the stocks that you know I personally came upon. I brought it to the team. We looked at it, analyzed it. We said, hey, this is something good for our whole Pivot Point family. And so our members were able to benefit from it. So this is just giving you a little bit of information, a little bit of timeline. So this is not a sexy quote unquote stock pick, right? But we don't care about sexy at Pivot Point. We, we care about sexy. We don't sexy. care about sex. Not when it comes to stock. No. Okay. Well, we no. Can, there's we other things. There's other things, we right? We focus on money making opportunities. That's what. It Period. Is. That's it. That's Period. It. Okay. So, so Levi's, Levi, you know, a well-known blue jean company. I mean, it's founded in 1853. So, to me, I don't think any of you. Pivot Point members that didn't get this stock review or, or, or watchers, followers, would have just thought off the top of your head to go with Levi's unless you saw something in the news. So, but because we have ways to gather information and comment upon the best stocks, the best companies out there, we came into this information. I actually purchased this stock from my own portfolio, brought it to the team on this day. June 30th, boom, that's when it comes in all the way around. So we looked at it and there was enough variables that we looked at and good information that we found about the company at this time period, even during a pandemic, mm -hmm. that made us positive about it, right? right, right. Now I ain't gonna go through all of those different, it's five of them, right? Because so, Levi's is not sexy, man. It ain't sexy. We need to be talking about Apple. I we need to be talking about Netflix. Oh, Zoom. We need Zoom. to be talking about Zoom. Oh, oh, like yeah. Stuff. yeah. But we're talking about Levi's. Levi, Levi Strauss, where they, you know, I'm not going to turn around and show you my Levi's. <laughs> I'm just saying, we know the 501s, the 505s, oh, boy, all that kind of stuff. Oh, you bring it down. Stuff. That's oh, right. Yeah. You know but, the numbers, yeah. You know, that's the company itself. But when you get down into the, the back office of them, what are they doing? What kind of money do they make? And what kind of uh, a value do they hold in the market? That's where we get to grind and get to understand it. So we can bring it to you, the Pippin Point Investor community. That's right, that's right. So this company, you look at the how large it is, it has more than a eight billion with a B market cap. Right. So it's a big company. Yeah, right? yeah that's a lot of money. You talk about B's, you're talking about big companies. That's a lot of money. Okay. So So you buy it in June. Buy it in June. Now the fifty-two week high for this whole year was nine oh nine. Okay. So nine dollars was the high. Nine dollars was low. But then the low and boom is buying it 13. just a little bit over yeah. the low, saying, "Hey, is it 13? It's got runway to grow." Absolutely. Okay. And so then, within a few months, a five-month period, mm -hmm. 
in November, it closes at 1614. Okay. So we, we made money. Bread. We made a little money. We, little we made money, okay. right? So then we move from there to today's close is 2042 a share. Okay. 2042 a share. Okay. Now, this stock moved up 32.11% for the last three months. Okay, got a pause. Got a yep. price pause. Yeah. So, we messed around, had a couple of dollars in our pocket. We threw it at Levi, old boring 1853 company that whatever we put in there, it grew 32%. So, grand, and we added and get to 32%. If we had 10,000, we had 100,000, that stock has gone 32% while we're sleeping. That's right. All right? That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so what's that doing for us? We got 32%. So what? What's that mean? How does that hey, look? Hey, what we going I with? mean, we didn't have to do anything crazy. We didn't have yeah. to do any back breaking labor. No. We didn't have to dig ditches. We didn't break a sweat. We didn't not one sweat. You took your money that you earned through either passive or active engagement. You put it in the stock, Levi, through which platforms could we have bought Levi? You could have bought it through Robinhood. Robin you Hood. could have bought it through Webull. We you Bull. could have bought it through uh, TD Ameritrade, TD Ameritrade E Trade, all the ones that we talked about. You Any one of them, because all of them sell some Levi's. You could have bought Not it. just the Gap. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. You could have bought it through any of them. And in okay. a lot of these platforms and several analysts, well known analysts, have this stock to this day at a 70% buy rate. Okay. So 70% buy rate and all that. Yeah. What's that? What does that mean? So we look at it, we say, hey, bring it to the technician, bring it to the team and say, hey, here's a stock. This is Levi. So we grab it, we look at it, and then we go do our due diligence. 1853, the billions of, of capitalization that it has. And then we say, what are the analysts saying outside of us, outside mm -hmm. the Pivot Point family? And they say, 70% of those guys say it's a buy. Buy. Buy is good. Buy is where we make bread. Absolutely. And so we get it, 32%, six months. That's a typical deal that we look at and break down, take it right through the shredder, see right. if it's making sense. That's right. And try to get some bread out of it. That's right. And we stay in the green. Oh, wait. There you go. So that's what we're doing. So that's yeah. that's one boring stock. You yeah. want you want anything else you want to deal with? I mean, the stock buy? pays a dividend. I could have put that up there. It right. was a lot of information I could have put up here that I just left off. Right. You know, some of the quarter three earnings numbers, like the stuff that we really look at. But see, when we bought it here, it was enough information from quarter one and quarter two, okay. and the history of the company and the company's management, all the different stuff that we might look at. Right. The non-sexy stuff yeah. that we really care about. But they know the type of due diligence we do behind Absolutely. each stock pick. Okay, we so, take this stuff serious. Like we we right. spend the time, the effort, right. and all the number crunching, so mm -hmm. they don't have to. So our members can just benefit. Okay, just ride, just jump in the car and ride. Are you giving stock advice? No, no, no. no, no. no. What just you talking about? I said what I bought, but, okay. and then I said what we reviewed. Before you know, we out. yeah, okay. we reviewed and we thought this was a great company. Because okay. again, I don't buy stocks, I buy companies. Company. So I thought this was good for Boom's personal portfolio. Okay. It was good, the team ate off of it. That's right. So hey, we, we share. Take that, we'll put we... it in our ecosphere and say, hey, if you're riding with us, you might want to follow it. Absolutely. I got you. Absolutely. Well, well, I think you dropped a, a heavy bomb on them today. Hey. You know, sometimes non-sexy is sexy. Keep that in mind for 2021. Non-sexy is the new sexy. Let's do it. Okay? Because quiet time. money speaks loudly. Absolutely. Quiet money speaks loudly. Hey, we're talking on behalf of Pivot Point Investors. We are. But we want the small-time investor to make profit in stock markets, real estate markets, whatever markets. We're going to talk crypto. Absolutely. Crypto conversations in 2021. Oh, yeah. There's so much going on in 2021. We can't wait to jump mm -hmm. into it. You with me, Boom? I'm with you, brother. You ready? I'm with you, Cash. Okay, let's make a Boom. Boom! Let's get with it. I'm AC Cash and this is JD Boom! And we're here on behalf of Pivot Point Investors where we want all your investments to be profitable ones. Take care.